Hey there everyone, I am Shivani and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is PC's birthday. Not today, more like on the day this video will be out on 18th July. And for all that she has taught me, this is like a really, really small birthday gift that I have for her and something she might never watch. But anyways, I think she's an amazing, amazing actress, but somehow I've always been more inspired by the way she lives her life, the way she conducts herself with so much confidence, the way she's working towards all the causes she believes in, her witty one-liners, and I think her overall life journey is very, very inspiring. So as the title of this video suggests, I am sharing five life lessons from Priyanka Chopra. And this is the second episode, so if you want to check out the first one, I'm going to leave a card up here. With that aside, let's go. Life lesson number one love what you do. Priyanka Chopra has taught me the importance of loving my job and now it's one of my life's motto. I was probably 17 or 18 years old when I saw an interview of Priyanka Chopra where she was talking about it. And that kind of perspective was so fresh, so new, never heard of and such an eye-opener. उससे पहले मैंने जब भी अडल्ट्स को जॉब के बारे में बात करते हुए सुना था तो वो हमेशा होता था कि हमें जॉब से स्टेबिलिटी मिलनी चाहिए जॉब से हमें पैसा मिलना चाहिए और हो सके तो जॉब से हमें रिस्पेक्ट मिलनी चाहिए बट दैट्स इट उससे पहले कभी मुझे किसी ने नहीं बोला था कि शिवानी गो फाइंड अ जॉब दैट गिव्स यू हैप्पीनेस दैट गिव्स यू सेटिस्फैक्शन इफ वी डू द मैथ योर एक एवरेज पर्सन कम से कम तीस से चालीस घंटे अपनी जॉब में बिताता है हर हफ्ते और अगर मैं बहुत डिफ़िकल्ट प्रोफेशंस को कंसीडर करूं जैसे इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंकिंग तो वहाँ पे लोग कम से कम 70 से 100 घंटे भी काम करते हैं एक हफ्ते में और अगर मैं अज्यूम करूं कि हम सब 7 से 8 घंटे सोते हैं आ, हर दिन देन 30 से 60 प्रतिशत टाइम हम अपने हफ्ते का अपनी ज़िंदगी का अपने काम पर बिता रहे हैं अपनी जॉब पर बिता रहे हैं तो वुडेंट इट बी एक्चुअली नाइस टू डू समथिंग दैट वी इन्जॉय ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम मैं ऐसे कुछ लोगों को जानती हूँ जिनको अपनी जॉब अपना काम इतना पसंद नहीं है और वो हर महीने के एंड में वेट करते हैं कि उनकी सैलरी कब आएगी टू बी ऑनेस्ट ऐसे लोगों को देख के ना मुझे बहुत ख़राब लगता है पी सी हैज़ टॉट मी दैट आई शुड फाइंड अ जॉब आई लव एंड दैट्स वट आई हैव डन मुझे इस अक्टूबर काम करते हुए छः साल हो जाएंगे एंड आई जेनुनली लुक फॉरवर्ड गोइंग टू वर्क आई मीन एक्सेप्ट फ्यू बैड डेज यूर एंड देर मुझे सच में बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि मैं हर दिन लाइक वीक डेज पे काम पे जाऊँ एंड देन आई गिव माई हंड्रेड परसेंट आई बी माई बेस्ट सेल्फ एंड आई रिमेंबर जब मैं कम्यूट करती थी घर से ऑफिस एंड आई यूज टू ट्रैवल इन अ बस फॉर लाइक टू आवर्स थ्री आवर्स समटाइम्स फोर आवर्स इवन एंड जब मैं रात को नौ साढ़े नौ बजे घर पहुंचती थी तो मेरी भाई बोलती थी कि तू ऑफिस से आ रही है ना तू काम करके आ रही है ना तो अभी भी इतनी खुशी अभी भी इतनी एक्साइटेड कैसी है लाइफ में एंड आई थिंक ऑफिस दैट हैपन्स बिकॉज आई लव माई जॉब बट ऑल्सो आई डोंट वरी अ लॉट इन जनरल बट आई थिंक दैट्स द मैजिक ऑफ लविंग योर जॉब सिर्फ आपकी जॉब वर्क लाइफ सॉर्टेड नहीं होती आपकी रिलेशनशिप्स आपकी पर्सनल लाइफ एवरी थिंग एल्स इन योर लाइफ इन जनरल इज सो मच सॉर्टेड आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट कन्फ्यूज मेंट योर्स अगो वन ही सेट दैट चूज अ जॉब यू लव एंड यू विल नॉट हैव टू वर्क अ डे इन योर लाइफ लाइफ लेसन नंबर टू यू कैन बी ऑल दैट यू वॉन्ट टू बी अगर मैं आपसे पूछूँ कि प्रियंका चोपड़ा कौन है तो मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली आप बोलोगे कि शी इज़ एन इंडियन एक्ट्रेस विच इज करेक्ट but she's a lot of other things as well she's a singer she's an author she's an entrepreneur she's a philanthropist she is a un goodwill ambassador and recently she's become a producer as well priyanka chopra ne mujhe sikhaya hai ki ek label aapka ek job description aapko define nahi karta hai agar aap you know during the course of your career during the course of your life agar aapko aisi cheeze mile jisme aap acche hain jo aap enjoy karte hain then you can keep learning you can keep evolving and becoming different things she says that you are never too old or never too experienced to learn something new so i think that's a definitely a very important thing that i've learned from her agar hum priyanka chopra ka life journey dekhe to wo aeronautical engineer banna chahti thi but somehow miss india happened miss world happened and the rest is history wo kehti hai ki agar aap sab kuch chahte hain ya sab kuch chahne mein koi burai nahi hai jab tak aap kisi ko hurt nahi kar rahe hain kuch galat kaam nahi kar rahe so it's completely fine औरों को मत बताने दो कि भैया तुम ये नहीं कर सकते ये नहीं कर सकते इसके साथ वो नहीं कर सकते आई थिंक uh, कोई भी कोई भी इंसान आप मैं सब अगर हम अपना टाइम मैनेज कर सकते हैं अपनी प्रायोरिटीज़ मैनेज कर सकते हैं इफ़ यू कैन फिगर लाइक सॉट फ्यू थिंग्स हियर एंड देयर एट लीस्ट लाइक ऑलमोस्ट अ लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर दैट वी कैन अचीव वी कैन बिकम डेफिनेटली सो जस्ट लाइक दैट आई वॉन्ट एवरी थिंग इन लाइफ आई वॉन्ट हैव एन अमेजिंग करियर आई वॉन्ट हैव लाइक अ कि कैस successful youtube channel i want to spend time and energy on causes that i believe in i want to be a vocal and active sustainable enthusiast i want to learn languages travel the world 
And who knows, maybe in the future I want to be an author and entrepreneur as well. Dropping a hint there, maybe, maybe not. Life lesson number three, let your dreams fly, give them wings. I heard Priyanka Chopra in an interview that I don't want to have a label, I, I want to have a legacy. And before that, at least, I didn't hear any actor or actress that I didn't hear any of that. Generally, when a person is in a particular profession, then the biggest dream is related, somehow it's related to something that they can achieve in that particular career. With her, it's not like that. Like definitely, she talks about doing well in the movies, acting well and singing or whatever. But at the same time, she is also uh, talking about you know, changing the world, contributing something and uh, being that person who is like she wants to be known as a person who has big dreams and then she achieves them like her life is such a perfect example of taking educated and calculated risks and breaking stereotypes like jaise agar aap dekhoge ki uski uh, let's say if you see her like acting career uh, acting career that way so apne career ke starting mein i think third or fourth movie was aitraz when she was doing like a negative role aur logon ne usko bola ki itni jaldi apne career mein ek negative role karoge to vamp ban ke reh jaoge that did not happen then fashion came jab 2008 mein fashion aayi thi to us time pe women centric films were not the norm but she anyway did it won a national award for it and then in her career ke peak, mein, when everything was working great here in India, she decided that I will go to the US and I will show a show Quantico, which did pretty well and then she won awards as well. So the point is not to restrict ourselves, like not to have like smaller dreams. We should have like big, big dreams for ourselves and then we should work hard towards achieving them. She says that, you know, we should not settle, like she says, especially uh, this to a uh, woman, she says that we should not compromise, we should not settle for anything less than what we believe in. We should work towards finding opportunities because they are far and few and then give our best shot and always, always aim for the moon. Life lesson number four, there is no substitute for hard work. Priyanka Chopra believes in destiny, she believes in luck, she believes in a guiding light, basically anything that's bigger than all of us. But at the same time, she says that without hard work, without commitment, she will not achieve anything. I saw one of her interviews, I know I'm giving a lot of interview references here, but that's one of my ways to get to know her. So yeah, coming back to the interview. In an interview, she says that when she was shooting Quantico, she was shooting for 15 or 16 hours in weekdays for the US in the Quantico. Ke liye US pe shooting kar di thi. Then she would fly back to India and she would shoot for the weekends for Jai Ganga Jal and Bajira Mastani. Thi. Now that shows commitment, that shows that she is willing to put her 200% into something. Again, in another interview, which, is, which was more like a day in the life of Priyanka Chopra, she was she got up at like 5, 6 and then uska pura din she uh, shot for Quantico and then Radko she had to go for a launch party at 8 when she was like completely tired and drained. I know, you would say, launch party is not really work, launch party is more like fun, I know. But then it's work for her, I mean she has to uh, dress up and then she has to go out and smile and look happy and, and like willing to be there and stuff like that. So that's work for her, that's commitment for her. Us interview ke baad, especially, like I was like, hmm. Priyanka Chopra ke paas 24 ghante hai. Un 24 ghanto mein woh to bhot kuch khaad rahi hai, bhot kuch kar rahi hai, which is why she is where she is. And mere paas bhi 24 ghante hai. Aur mein 24 ghanto mein kya kar rahi hoon? Like if I could be as good or maybe be half as uh, hardworking as she is towards a career, personal life, whatever, I will be pretty sorted. And that is something that stuck with me. So uske baad se mein jab bhi kuch karti hoon, I try to give my 200%. I try to give all that I have. And then I see what happens. I mean, sometimes things work, sometimes they know. But when I have tried something, given my best, at least I know things, right? And that always is better than not doing anything and just sitting idle. Which brings me to my next lesson, and that's failures are inevitable, but failures are very, very important. Priyanka Chopra says that she hates to fail. But something as certain as day and night is that you will fail. In life, we will never fail, we will never have the chance to fail when we try so much, but we will be hard. But what really matters is that after that, how do we get up and what do we do? And that is something that will define us. In life, there will definitely be such a chance to come to us when we work for something, we work for our hearts, we work for our hearts, and after that, we will fail. 
फ़र्क ये पड़ता है कि आप फेल हो गए उसे फ़र्क नहीं पड़ता फ़र्क इससे पड़ता है कि आप उसके बाद क्या कर रहे हो तो अगर आप जब फेल होते हो मुझे लगता है कि हमें उस मोमेंट में रहना चाहिए उस मोमेंट को प्रोसेस करना चाहिए तो अगर आपको सेल्फ पिटी में डूबना है सेल्फ पिटी में डूब जाओ अगर आपको जर्नल करना है डायरी में लिखना है वहाँ अपना गम डाल दो किसी एक फ्रेंड से बात करके अगर सुकून मिल रहा है तो वो कर लो बट उसे प्रोसेस करना ज़रूरी है रादर देन सिर्फ हटा देना भूल जाना and then when all of this is done get up dust yourself off and drive straight back into life because priyanka chopra says the only way to push aside failures is to move ahead so mujhe lagta hai ki agar hum apni galtiyon ko analyze kar rahe hain unse kuch seekh rahe hain koshish kar rahe hain ki unhe repeat na kare aur next time behtar bane i think we are pretty sorted one of my favorite quotes jo mai behno se bahut baar bolti rehti hu is that there are no such thing as failures only lessons learned so all that we have to do is analyze our mistakes uh, try to not repeat them and to do better next time aur also wo bhi hai na ki agar aap zindagi mein kabhi fail nahi hoge na to aapko apni success ka mithas utna pata bhi nahi chalega so it's good for that as well i absolutely adore priyanka chopra for who she is for the way she lives her life her bold career choices and how she with every move she tries to push the envelope a little break stereotypes and is trying to make it a better workplace for women in general another quote that i absolutely love and resonate with is something that she mentioned in one of her speeches and it goes something like life's journey is not to arrive at the grave site safely in a well preserved body but rather to skid sideways completely worn out and shouting holy shit that was a ride that's how she wants to go and that's how i want to go as well i really hope that these lessons help you in some way and make your life better the way they have done uh, mine and you guys know the drill if you like this video give a thumbs up let me know in the comments below whatever you think of it and subscribe to my channel for more such content on personal growth conscious lifestyle and travel as well i'll see you next sunday until then do whatever makes you happy bye bye